please stand and remain standing. Please stand and remain standing for the reading of the native. It's okay, wait for it. We're nailing it. Please stand and remain standing for the reading of the Native American Land Acknowledgement, read by our Tarni Gemmel, Assistant Principal of Early College High School, and the presentation of our national anthem. Hello, everyone. My name is Artanya Gimmel, and it is my honor to serve as assistant principal of Early College High School, and a privilege to be here today. Indigenous tribes and bands have been on the lands of the Willamette Valley across Oregon and throughout the Americas since time immemorial. In this valley, the ancestry of the Kalapuya reaches the furthest back in time reminding us that this plentiful place has been called home by its original inhabitants. Today, we acknowledge that the people of this land still exist and inhabit this valley. We forward our respect to the first peoples of this land, the nine federally recognized tribes of Oregon, and those who have seeds land, seeded lands here. We truly honor the gravity of the past and endeavor to see that people may live in harmony and equity on this land for posterity. May this acknowledgement carry resonance as a tool of peace over the land and the waters we mutually rely on. And now our national anthem. Be seated. Good afternoon and welcome. As I mentioned, my name is Brad Shreve. It's my honor to be principal of Early College High School. Um, we'd like to thank a few people tonight. Um, we'd like to thank our faculty that are here seated behind the graduates and um, our faculty that are going to be uh, identifying the students, Laura Carver and Kimberly Abraham will be reading students' names. Our assistant principal, Lisa McIntyre, over here underneath the tent. Over here, you just met our Tanya Gemmel, assistant principal. We'd also like to th give our appreciation to Leticia Bovidia, Susie Kotick, who are our office managers for early college and Roberts High Schools and helped with a team of people including the Sprague um, High School, to set up this beautiful ceremony and all of our apparatus that you guys are gonna take advantage of tonight. We also wanna recognize a few dignitaries um, that are with us this evening. We have Suzanne West, Director of Strategic Initiatives for the Salem-Kaiser Public Schools. We have Chris Moore, Director of Social Emotional Learning and Mentor, mentoring. We have also with us a former graduate of our high school, Karina Guzman, school board member. I want to thank everybody for being here and um, it's my honor to introduce our two speakers for this evening. 
This afternoon, we have the pleasure of hearing from Belinda Flores Seha and Sela Moncour. Good evening, staff, family, friends, and fellow class of 2024. I am Belinda Flores Seha, here to reflect on the past four years of my life. But before I begin, I must ask my fellow graduates, how are we feeling this evening? It is such a surreal moment, isn't it? I don't know about you guys, but I still feel like an eighth grader. But now it's about to get real, and we're starting new life adventures, meeting new life goals we thought were very far away. Let's work today with Pythagorean theorem, everyone's favorite, A squared. Growing up, I always thought perfection, but everything has turned into reflection. To master every subject, to be a perfect translator, humbled by a test paper, to be the best role model for my siblings, which has filled my life with gratitude and fulfillings. Changed, everything changed sophomore year, as geometry was very clear. I learned to build a community. Although we don't all talk to each other frequently, we had that unwritten rule that we can ask anyone for help. We built that community, and to whoever brought that group chat back in the day, props to you. It was the base of that amazing community, a community I'm going to miss. Realistically, I know we're all not going to stay in touch. It used to be a see you tomorrow, and now it has changed it to I hope you have a great future. I know we all have different goals, different missions, and to accomplish in this world. I hope this community has a bigger impact, sorry, impact in our bigger overall community in a positive way, of course. Volleyball club will be a miss, a small dream I didn't believe could exist. With low hopes of its success, y'all made it work and made it progress. Thankful for the positivity and willingness to integrate one another. In another community I'm going to miss, it was a great two years of fun and distress. After long days of school, it was my joy and my safe space. B squared. Talking about long days of school, let's go back and talk to, about sophomore year. It was one of the hardest years, at least for me, where I highly considered dropping out of early college high school, where I thought, yeah, everyone was right. I should have not applied because I was going to fail and drop out like multiple have. But I'm glad I stayed. I'm glad I stayed because I built long-term friendships. I was able to decide what major to stick with. I was able to connect with college professors, college students, learn life, lifelong hacks better than the ones TikTok taught me. Uh, and uh, overall, I was able to prove to myself that if I'm determined and work hard, anything is possible. That bumps and dead ends are reroutes and they're temporary, all leading to stop signs of redirection and success. A squared. Communities and experiences plus B squared, challenges and reflections equals C squared. The main overall reflection and what I have learned. So what is C squared? I have started to believe that everything that is meant for me will come to me. And it is a message that I want to give you all as well. If it is meant for you, it will come and find you. Now, I don't mean sit down and relax and wait for an opportunity to come to your doorstep. I mean. Work hard for your goals, and if it fails or it doesn't work out in the end, don't worry. It just means it wasn't meant for you and a different opportunity will come to you. Because as Nicole Eno said, rejection is redirection. It is hard to believe what conclusions I made as I thought my decisions wouldn't have been maintained. There was much change in my life in less than a year, academics, family, friendships, and self-growth. Thinking of becoming a social worker, thinking of becoming a Pacific boxer, thinking family circumstances would conquer her, thinking FAFSA was going to save the day and pay for her dreams, and to conclude with opposites of her beliefs. Let's see. Now, I'm going to Western Oregon University, which was my last option at the beginning of the school year. After switching my majors around 15 times for the past seven years, more like past seven months, I'm going to major in education to become a middle school or high school math teacher. The first ever career interest back in sixth grade. FAFSA didn't work in the beginning. FAFSA just gave me my SAI less than a month ago. Can you believe that? So many scholarship opportunities were left behind, but that doesn't mean it was the end of the world. 
I was offered a last minute interview and I'm proud to say that I am a Ford Scholar and I'm also proud and happy to say that my family's circumstances healed along the way and my family is stronger than ever before. My school choice in my major was Plan Z, but Plan Z was not because I failed the rest of my plans. It was because all the turns in life in my life led me towards this path, giving me dead end signs before trying the next path. This is why I have learned that if it is meant for you, it will come to you. Now, I would like to thank God and all of those family, friends, and staff that have helped me with my academic life and my personal life. Thank you, Mr. Kressner. You had the biggest impact in my life as my junior avid teacher. Thank you for all of the advice and all the times you had to deal with me. Thank you, Ms. Nolly. Thank you for encouraging me to apply to early college high school back in eighth grade. And thank you to all the staff that helped me build the volleyball club. And most importantly, gracias, mami, papi, por siempre apoyar mis metas y mis locuras, por siempre escucharme y aconsejarme. Espero que estén orgullosos de mí, por mis logros y por los que están por cumplirse. Sorry. I'm sure we all regret <laughs> saying once upon a time that we wanted to grow up when we were little, but now we wish to be kids again. So before I leave this stage, I have one last assignment for you all, your last high school assignment. As you know, in Pythagorean theorem, it's not always a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Sometimes you're missing a, sometimes you're missing c. So let's do a small reflection. I want you all to close your eyes. Everyone else is invited to join. <laughs> So close your eyes and think back to your younger self, five, six years old, back in kindergarten, how did you define your success? Did you want to be an astronaut, a firefighter, a teacher, a dancer, an actor, a doctor? Now, I want you to be proud of yourself for who you are at this very moment. Know that what you have gone through in life has been big and you should be proud of yourself for being able to sit here today and cheer for your success. Onward to the ceremony, work on finding that missing piece of your equation to understand, learn, and grow for the future. Work for that goal and be that successful person you aspire to say when you wanted to grow up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you cannot open your eyes. <laughs> Although there are many years to come, I can't wait to be successful and I wish the best for you guys as well. Congratulations, class of 2024. Thank you. Now, we will hear from Salem Moncourt. When I was first thinking of where to go for high school, I had no plans. Sure, I could go to my current school's high school or my district, yet neither seemed appealing to me. After applying to a couple schools, I ended up with two options, South Salem High School and Orly College High School. Now, I would love to say I made my decision based on academics, but nah. My school had 180 kids, South had 2,100 kids, so I decided to go to Early College High School, and I will never regret that decision. Our first year of high school was a struggle. COVID had everything in lockdown. There was no in-person classes, and because of this, we were completely online. Our freshman class was split into three different AVID classes, and while we had classes with other classmates, I can say I only knew about a third of your names and none of your faces. I remember being in Spanish with two of my current friends, Emily and Jaden. At the time, I had no idea who they were, only that they were really good and kind of scared me. <laughs> Most of you have probably had this feeling when you've seen someone who's great at something and you're just in awe, and then you meet them and they're really chill. Well, that's what happened to me. At the, end of year, at the end of freshman year, we got to go to in-person classes. It was really nerve-wracking, as I had never actually met any of these people. My first class was Spanish with Garcia, who sadly had to stop teaching. Honestly, I loved that class, and not because I was good at it, but because it was engaging. I remember Emily talking about how Carver's class could hear us from down the hall. <laughs> at the end of the year, we got to play Uno in class, and that was probably one of my best memories of that year. Another, another core memory I have is sophomore year during Utley's class. It was the last trimester and we had been going over Gothic literature. We had recently read A Rose for Emily and our teacher gave us an assignment to recreate a picture from it. We decided to use a scene from it where Emily had killed her husband with arsenic, which is rat poison. I later promised to get Emily a rose because, you know, it's a rose for Emily. 
and I recently did that this year. Today I would just like to say that my class has accomplished some great things. We are, leaving, we are all leaving school with college credits and some of us even got an associate's degree. I would just like to say that I'm proud of our class for getting through these four years and while the start was stressful and challenging, those of us who are here have made it through these rigorous years and are standing here today ready to move on to the next step. We started off as a class of 57 and are now 48. Congratulations to all the graduates for everything you've done and to your future. We all have different plans, whether it be staying at Chemeketa, going to a four-year trade school, or starting work. Of the few future plans I know, my friend Jaden is going to Southern Oregon for accounting, and Stacy is going to George Fox for communication. I also plan to attend George Fox for communication, for, no, not communication, for business management and marketing. Before I end, I would like to thank some of my teachers who really encouraged and helped me to get through high school. First, I would like to thank Mrs. Pemberton. She was my very first AVID teacher in freshman year, and she was very, very helpful. She was always there when I needed someone to reach out to, even when I had already left her class. I was so happy I got her, and she really helped me into getting into a new school where I did not know anyone. Next, I'd like to thank Mr. Garcia. He was my Spanish teacher in my freshman year. And when we got back in person, he was teaching my first class at 8 in the morning. All of you who had him know what his personality was like. He really woke me up, and I dearly needed that. During sophomore year, whenever I passed by his classroom, I would always try to say hi, and even once I got to see his dog, and his dog was really cute. Lastly, I'd like to thank Renata. She is in charge of the two clubs that I was a part of at early college, Fiber Arts and Book Club. Whenever I needed a break, a quiet space, or a teacher to talk to, she was readily available. While I was not on campus much, I always tried to say hi to her whenever possible. For all the graduating students today, whatever your plans may be, these past four years have prepared you for the future. We've been moving at a faster pace to prepare us not only for college classes, but also life. While I'm not friends with all of you, I have gotten to know you all, and I believe that each of you have it within you to go through and thrive on this new path in your lives. Congrats to all the 2024 graduates of early college. Thank you. Thank you, Belinda and Sela. Students, this afternoon, we celebrate you and all that you've accomplished, and you've accomplished quite a lot in your time with us at early college high school. This amazing group of young adults sitting before us today, many have overcome a lot to graduate and all have persevered through the pandemic as was mentioned. We would like to highlight some of those accomplishments of the class of 2024 at this time. The graduating class has earned over 2,782 college credits or the equivalency of 30 associate's degrees. All 48 seniors have been awarded at least one or more scholarships, totaling in excess of $9 million. Six students in this senior class will be the first in their family to graduate from high school, and 13 of today's graduates will be the first in their families to attend college. Today, you'll notice that some of our students are wearing cords around their necks. These cords signify various accomplishments. The green and orange Orange cord represents those students who've completed the requirement of an Associates of Art Oregon Transfer degree, or Associate of General Studies and Associate of Applies, Applied Science degrees from Shigemeketa Community College. I'd like to have these students please stand and be recognized at this time. Thank you. The purple cord represents those students who have earned over 73 college credits from Schmeckata Community College. I'd like those students to please stand at this time. Thank you, congratulations. The maroon cord represents students who have earned 37 to 72 college credits from Schmeckata. Would those students please stand? And thank you. <laughs> Did we need to cheer more? Sorry. The silver cord represents those students who have earned 12 to 36 college credits. Please stand if you've earned those credits from Schmeckata. <laughs> Congratulations. Great job. Students that have the gold cord represent students who have a cumulative GPA of 3.75 or higher. Please stand. Great job. Keep celebrating, Jaden. 
<laughs> the blue cord <laughs> represents earning a career and technical education honor. Please stand if you have the blue cord. Sydney. Congratulations. Congratulations. And the gold cord, the gold stole represents students earning the seal of biliteracy. Distinction, please stand if you earned a seal of biliteracy. Great job, you guys. Congratulations to all of you. At this time, we'd like to introduce our valedictorians and salutatorians. Our salutatorians this year are students who have achieved the second highest overall GPA and are wearing their medallion. Patrick Garcia. Patrick is the son of Doggo and Karen Garcia. His future plans are to attend Oregon State University and will major in mathematics. Roman Vityakov. Roman is the son of Vitaly and Anna Vitikov. His future plans are to attend the University of Oregon and major in business finance. Our valedictor yes, congratulations. Our valedictorians are students who have achieved the highest overall GPA and, wear and are wearing their medallions. Jaden Davenport. Jaden is the daughter of Trish and Brian Davenport. Jaden plans to attend Southern Oregon University. She already got a shout out for that. And will major in business administration with a concentration in accounting. Jackson Lamb. Jackson is the son of Melissa Lamb. Jackson plans to attend Western Oregon University and go, to, go on to get a master's, master's degree in anesthesiology. Emmanuel Sandoval. Emmanuel is the son of Dora and Alex Sandoval. Emmanuel is planning to attend Portland State University and then transfer to OHSU Dental School and become an orthodontist. Thank you all. You may be seated. Congratulations. Now the moment you've been waiting for, for the presentation of diplomas. As principal of Early College High School, I'm proud to announce that the students before you have met the requirements of Salem-Kaiser School District and the state of Oregon to be high school graduates. <laughs> Suzanne West, Karina Guzman, Chris Moore, Salem-Kaiser directors, I present to you for the receipt of their graduation diplomas, the class of 2024. Reading, reading the names of the graduates will be Laura Carver and Kimberly Abraham. Emmanuel Sandoval. Emmanuel is gonna study to be an orthodontist at Portland State University. Valinda Flora Seha. As you heard, Valinda is planning to study at Western Oregon University to become a high school math teacher. <laughs> Roman Vityakov. <laughs> Roman is going to be studying business finance at the University of Oregon. Patrick Garcia. Patrick is going to study to be a career data analyst at Oregon State University. Finn Torres Garibo. Finn is going to be studying at Portland State University this fall in architecture. <laughs> Leonel Mejia Perez. Leonel is going to be studying engineering at Chemeketa Community College. Fabian Figueroa Morfin. Fabian. <laughs> is going to be studying business and finance this fall at Willamette University. Raul Rosas Morales. Raul is going to be studying business and finance at Portland State University. <laughs> Emma Kathleen Gretzen. Emma is going to be studying drafting technology at Chemeketa Community College. Ellie Caroline Gretzen. 
Ellie is going to be studying to be a dietitian at University of North Carolina, Greensboro. <laughs> Anastasia Hogan. Anastasia is going to be studying communications at George Fox University. <laughs> Sayla Moncour. Sayla is going to be studying business administration with management and marketing at George Fox University. Alicia Bogdanich. Alicia <laughs> is going to be studying software engineering technology at Oregon Tech at Klamath Falls. Jackson Lamb. Jackson is going to be studying biology with an eye toward a career in anesthesia at Western Oregon University. Sydney Stone. Sydney is going to be majoring in business management and psychology at Oregon State University. Jaden Davenport. Jaden is going to be studying business, man, major, business and accounting at Southern Oregon University. Yareli Amaya Lopez Valdez. <laughs> You've got a big fan club. Yareli is going to study to be a nurse at University of Portland. Julia Delgado Benavides. Julia is going to be studying medical sonography at Oregon Institute of Technology. Madeline Zhang. Maddie is going to be studying psychology and criminology at Western Oregon University. Anthony Martinez. Anthony is going to be studying business at Western Oregon University. Daniel Lopez. Daniel is going to be studying computer science at Oregon State University. Andrea Flores Hernandez. Andrea is going to be studying neuroscience at the University of Oregon. Alexa Hesmira Jacobo. Alexa is going to be studying aerospace engineering at Oregon State University. Eden Moore. Eden is going to be studying child behavioral health and to become a children's therapist at University of Oregon. Cassandra Carrasco Hernandez. Cassandra is going to be studying business at Willamette University. Emma Kate Parker. Emma is going to be studying climate science, mastering in oceanography at Oregon State University. Woo! Vanessa Hughes. Woo! Vanessa will be studying environmental science at Oregon State University. Dania Fuentes. Dania will be studying civil engineering with a minor in economics at Oregon State University. <laughs> Joanna Blanca Mendoza Chavez. <laughs> Joanna will be studying applied science with an eye towards an associate degree at Schmeckata. Daisy Alatore Perez. Daisy will be studying neonatal nursing at Nova Southeastern University. Mitchell Rue. They're still undecided, but definitely will be something in science at OSU and the Shemeca OPP program. Courtney Wilson. Courtney will be studying criminal justice and forensic psychology at Seattle University. Tate Jones. Tate will be studying computer science at Western Oregon University. Ferdas Toktaev. Ferdas will be studying criminal justice at Western Oregon University. Zachariah Nas. Zachariah will be studying chemistry at Portland State University. Alexander Kirote Valencia. Alexander will be studying computer science at Oregon Institute of Technology. 
Drew Bowman. Drew will be studying archaeology at Willamette University. Brianna Cree Waller. Brianna will be majoring in business at Western Oregon University. Alicia Cruz Halsey. Alicia will be studying engineering at Chemeketa Community College. Emily Camilla Mackley Sanchez. Emily will be taking motorcycle racing classes and then going to BYU in the winter and double majoring in chemistry and political science. Nitsa Castro. Nitsa will be studying bilingual education at Western Oregon University. Lindsay Tudela. Lindsay will be studying human services at Western Oregon University. Eliazar Vityakov. Eliazar will be studying psychology at Chemeketa Community College. Luca Bella Elysium McMurrin. Luca is looking forward to a life after high school. <laughs> Nade Sal. Nade is going to be focusing on becoming an OBGYN and will be studying at Oregon State University in the fall. Calvin McQueen. Calvin will be studying crop and soil science at Oregon State University. Omar Korea. Omar will be majoring in business finance and pre-law at Willamette University. Thank you, class of 2024. All right, class of 2024, on behalf of Early College High School staff, we are all very proud of you, proud of the perseverance and resolve you've shown. Students, please stand at this time. Parents and families, we ask you please stay seated as the graduates exit during the recessional. Students, at this time, please turn around and face the audience. Where are your, where are your people seated? There's two audiences. You may, now take, you may now take your tassel from the right side and move it to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor and distinct pleasure to present to you our 2024 graduating class. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate our seniors. As a reminder, your graduates will be meeting you down at the end of the goalposts. Congratulations. Passenger van in a small club in Minnesota and the snow outside of.